Uh, we don't want to be late. Uh-oh. It's that weird goose lady again. Come on, let's go. Hello, children! It's fairy tale time! Look, lady, we gotta go to school. Oh, but I've got a story about beans! Magic beans! Yeah, yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk. That's a new one. Um, yeah, uh, but I bet you haven't heard the real story. <laughs> Besides, you just missed your bus. There goes our chance at a good college. Exactly. Now, say hello to Juanito, the storytelling one. Buenos dias, children. Look into my eyes and I'll tell you a tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young beatnik named Jack. Crazy. Together with his mother, they ran the hippest, most successful coffee house in all of Storybook Land. Business was great, and they were loaded. Yay! Until one day... Oh. A trendy corporate coffee chain had moved in across the street, selling their coffee fast and cheap. Unable to compete, Jack and his mother hit hard times. The man's got us down, son. Heavy. I've thought it over. We'll have to sell the family van. <clears throat> Not bossy. I was born in that van. <laughs> so, Beatnik Jack went out into the world to sell the family van. Soon, Jack found a buyer to whom he explained all his travels. Relax, kid. Chase the McShay's to write your service. You don't need money, pal. You need something better than money. What you need is a gimmick. A gimmick? That's right, a gimmick. And I got just the ticket. <laughs> Magic coffee beans. Kazam! So Jack returned home to show his mother his good fortune. Unfortunately, upon tasting the beans... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have trusted someone named Shasta McShasta. Disillusioned, they threw out the beans and went to bed. That night, something incredible happened. Whoa, this must be one of those crazy climbing dreams. So Jack climbed out the window and up the beanstalk. He climbed and climbed until he reached a marvelous world in the clouds. Crazy! Suddenly, Jack caught a whiff of the best coffee he'd ever sniffed. He followed the aroma across the land and into the heart of a giant's lair. Now that's a smoking cup of coffee, man. All thanks to my magical cappuccino machine that spews the golden foam. This baby makes great coffee faster than I can drink it. <laughs> Speaking of which, I gotta go to the can, man. Wow, a crazy magic cappuccino machine. There's got to be something I can do with that. What you need is a gimmick. A gimmick. A gimmick. The machine kid, grab it. Oh yeah, right. Hey, wait a minute. Those beans you saw me taste like- Sorry kid, gotta run. I'm late for another flashback. So the thrifty Jack took the magical cappuccino machine and headed for home. Oh. Whoa. Someone's pinched my machine! So Jack ran for his little beatnik life. Soon he made his way back to the beanstalk. But with the giant's large strides, he not only caught up to Jack, but ran past him and off the edge of the cloud. As fate would have it, the giant landed across the street on the corporate coffee chain. 
What have I done? Whoa! Far out, man! Hey, like, I'm sorry, giant cat, man. I, I wouldn't have taken your magical cappuccino machine, but you see, my mama desperately needed it for her coffee house. You dig? Oh, no way! Your mom owns a coffee house? Hey, you think she let me sell my candles and incense there? I think we can wake out something, daddy -o. So young beatnik Jack, his mother, and the giant went into business together, and they all lived crazy cool ever after. And that is how it really happened. So remember, when things are at their darkest, you can always count on magic beans to solve all your problems. What? That story was clearly about cooperation. Nope. Beans. Hey, why aren't you kids in school? Uh-oh, gotta run! Well, we wanted to go to school, officer, but the goose lady stopped us. All right, the goose lady. Let's go, punk! Oh, ow! <sighs> we could sure use some of those magic beans right about now. Or a good attorney. Mm. 